my name is Ross Alberti and in this video I'll be critiquing Nicola on her backstroke stroke, and she's gonna, I'm gonna do a swim 25 metres down the pool and I'm just gonna uh, notice, see if I can notice any imperfections in her stroke and I'm gonna pick one of them um, and then get her to implement three, uh, three drills and we'll see if um, she can fix that up for us. So I'll just get Nicola to go through and we'll see how you go. Okay. So she's doing all right there. She's got a really good kick um, with the there. She's uh, crossing a midline across her uh, across her head, so she's overcompensating for that roll. You're doing really good. Now just getting to go all the way back. Okay. Yeah. So you can see as well, a pretty obvious one is that her um, elbows are really bent over the top of her head, and they should be straight um, through that recovery phase. So she's doing a little bit different on, but that's pretty good. Good job there, Nicola. That was really good. Um, your legs were really good. They were really going well. Very, um, all the way through, they were really good. Um, a couple of things that I did notice, though, is that you are bending your arms a little bit, and that really should be straight through your recovery phase, just so um, you're getting that more propulsion all the way back um, during your uh, propulsion phase here. Yeah. The other one as well is you're overcompensating for your roll of your body. You're crossing your midline. Um, but other than that, that's really good. So what we'll probably do um, with the three drills that I'll get you to do is really focus on just getting that um, in the recovery phase, just getting your arms back. Um, uh, so get, the first drill I'll get you to do is back to a catch up. And what I'll get you to do is just get in the streamlined position. And what I'll get you to do is just go through your stroke, touch on your opposite hand, and that'll initiate your next stroke. And you'll just keep doing that. So just try to keep your arms straight. And then we'll see how you go. So she's doing really quite well there. She's got a, her, her arms are still quite bent in the elbow. But no, that's not too bad. Good job there. She's still just kind of keeping that elbow a little bit bent. But that's really fantastic. She's done really well. I'll get you to swim back, but that's really, really doing great. Okay. So this drill is really important in just getting uh, the, get the feel of the water, getting that clean water when she goes back, but really just getting uh, the feel of that, of in that streamlined position and just initiating that next phase. Really, really good job there. That was really good there. You did really, really well. I was really, really happy with what you did there. Um, one thing I did notice is you're still bending your arm just a little bit. So the next one we're going to do is called vertical uh, catch up. So it's the same thing again. But just your arms will be out at 90 degrees when you're going through your stroke. So you'll be out in front, chest out, bring in a lot of air to keep you afloat. And just coming through, touching that next arm, same thing again, um, but just at 90 degrees. So okay, you can do that, we'll see how you go. Okay. So she's trying really hard there, that's really good. Um, like this is a really good, really good, um, really good drill for her to do at the moment because it is really keeping that, that, that um, elbow good. Well done there, I get you to swim back. Good job. So it does force the swimmer to um, have a really long effective stroke under the under the water and um, uh, just good arm extension. But another thing I couldn't see before was um, really that she wasn't really getting a pinky in um, pinky in thumb out in a recovery phase. So Dr. Ralph Richards does believe that in the recovery phase this is a really efficient way of doing that, so this is really going to show that. Alright Nicola, you're doing really, really well. Um, I've noticed that you're really starting to extend your arms, so you're getting that really good um, in the recovery phase. Your midline's really looking really good, you're not overcompensating anymore. Um, one thing that I have noticed that you're doing, and I believe will improve your midline, is that you're doing really awkward where you're kicking your thumb is, when you're coming over in your stroke, um, there's no real structure to it. And what I really want you to do is um, come through with your arm, with your thumb up, and then change it about well, when you come up to this point here, and then back with your pinky back into the water. Um, Dr. Ralph Richards believes that this is a really good way to aid in the rotation of your shoulder, as if you're coming up with your thumb up, you can't go past this point, so you have to go into that pinky so what you want to do for your last drill, it's called a sailor salute. It's a bit of fun, it's a good way to end. Um, so what I'll get you to do is, um, before when you're in your streamline position, coming back through, when you hit 90 degrees, so instead of doing a catch up like you were before, you're hitting 90 degrees, and what you want you to do is, I want you to do a salute, and then come back out with your pinky straight up. 
and then back into your face. So I guess we'll do that. We'll see how you go. Yeah, so it may look a little silly, but she's doing really well there. And that will improve her midline quite substantially, give her a better, better feel, but just that entry with her pinky there, she'll get a better grasp, she's going a bigger stroke, um, which is really good for her. Well done, Nicola. One more strike, you're nearly done. Yeah, so she's getting a really long stroke there, really effective doing that. Just feeling for clean water, she's, um, so that's, that's really good for her. She's, her legs are looking down a little bit, but that's because she's just focusing. She's doing really well there. Fantastic, right? It's really, really well. Really happy with that. Um, so how do you reckon you went? Alright. Yeah? You're feeling yourself grasping for that clean water out in front. You're not wobbling as much, your arms are really straight. Yep. Fantastic. So what I might get you to do is just do one more normal stroke through and we'll see if that's improved a little bit. Just think about what we've done. Take it slow. Um, but yeah, we'll see how you go. That is so much better there from the beginning. Really good midline, very strong. She's reached out to clean water. Um, her rest there, when she, on a, when she comes back in the propulsion phase, is really good. That's it, one more back. Yeah, so everything's really good. The propulsion phase is good. Her recovery is nice and clean, very straight. Not going over the midline anymore, reaching for clean water. Her kicks are a little bit low, but they're still pretty good. Um, that's fantastic. Congratulations, then, Nicola. I think you're a great backstroker now. Yes. So you can see there through um, for Nicola swimming there at the end that she's improved a, a, a great lot. And by just those simple drills of just building on each other, not bombarding her with um, all this extra information, just one by one, picking one one imperfection is a really good way to improve her as a swimmer. Um, although she was pretty good, it really was just in, in that recovery phase um, that she was I needed some improvement in. Uh, but she, by the end product, she's done really well. Those three drills, so you've got your catch-up, your uh, vertical catch-up, and then that sailor salute, they've all helped her out. Um, and I think she's a better swimmer because of it. Um, my name's Nicola Richardson, and today for my aquatic TV, I'll be assessing Ross. And Ross is going to be doing free stuff for us. So after I watch Ross do a, a lap or two, we're going to be able to find out what he's doing wrong and how we're going to fix it. We're going to fix it by doing three different drills and I'll we'll think of those drills when I, after I've seen them swim so I know what to fix. So Ross, do you mind just swimming free stuff for me? Yep. Go halfway back. Sorry. As you can see from Ross swimming, so he's breathing every two and he's got shallow recovery. Swim back again for me, Ross. So he's picking this pretty good. But his recovery is really early and he's catching a lot of white water. So his fingers are spread out and kind of being close together. And that was pretty really good. And head stayed in the right position. And I think he was really good at staying simultaneously the whole time. It wasn't a hard kick at one time or a slow kick at one stage. It was consistent the whole way through. The only thing is with that arm, we've got early entry. So we're chopping into the water too early. Which means that you don't get a full pulse stage, which is really short. So what we're going to do, we're going to work on that stage. So what I want to do first, we're going to do is catch up. You're going to have my arms up above your head in a straight line position. And we're going to do one arm and the other. So each time, every time we do a set of three, so three arms, so one, two, three, I want you to three, and then back together. So we're going to get our bilateral breathing going. We're going to breathe one way, and the other way we're going to do that the whole time through. So can we get you to do that for me, please? Sure, absolutely. So I'll go to halfway, and then we'll come back again. Off you go. So the next one we're going to do is to still encourage that bilateral breathing. So 
So you need to catch up in your streamline position again. So arms up above your head, tuck in your head. So this time we're going to do three arms on one side. So one, two, three. And on the third we're going to turn our head and breathe. So when we're turning our head and breathing, we're still going to have one hand above our head. The other one's going to be down by our hip. So we turn and breathe. And as this hand comes up, we knock our head back here. So that's doing our timing and our breathing. So the few times I saw you doing head for a while, turning and breathing. So we want to make that quick and consistent the whole time through. So arms up in the streamline position, go one, two, three, turn and breathe. We're going to do the other hand. So we're going to go one, two, three, turn and breathe. And back to the other. So we're going to do that halfway and then we're going to come back again. So ready? Off we go.